welcome back in the previous video we saw that how to calculate the derivative of function 1 over x so derivative is derivative at any point of a function is equal to the slope of tangent at that particular point so we calculated the derivative of function 1 over x the function f of x was 1 over x whose derivative came out to be minus 1 over x square so let's say we ha we have this x axis and y axis so this is the graph of function 1 over x this is the graph of function 1 over x let's say we have a point x naught y naught on the graph of function 1 over x so the slope the tangent line at that point is this this is the tangent line at point x naught y naught so the derivative at point x naught y naught will be equal to the slope of this line okay so this is angle theta and slope will be equal to tangent theta which will be equal to the derivative at point x naught y naught okay or the rate of change at point x naught y naught in this video we shall see how to calculate the area under the slope of under this slope okay or area under this tangent line okay so let's calculate the area under this tangent line so let's say this point is x1 comma 0 because y is 0 on this line on this x axis the value of y is 0 so this point will be x1 comma 0 or you can call it the x intercept this point is called x intercept okay x intercept so y will be 0 on this line or y on y axis the value of x is 0 and here the value of y will be y1 you can call this this point y y intercept this point is called y intercept so we need these two points x1 and y1 to calculate the area under this tangent line okay to calculate the area under this tangent line we do we need these two points x1 and y1 x because x1 is equal to the base the base of this triangle is nothing but x1 base is equal to x1 and height of this triangle this right angle triangle you see this is a triangle these three points this point is we know is 0 0 this point is 0 0 so x1 will be the base of this triangle and y1 will be the height of this triangle so height will be equal to y1 height of this right angle triangle will be equal to y1 so first of all we use these two points x0 y0 and 0 comma y1 these two points using these two points we calculate the slope we uh, write the equation of slope of this line so the the slope will be m which will be equal to y1 minus y0 is equal to m into 0 minus x0 
so this will be 0 minus x naught so this is the equation of slope this is the or you can say the equation of this line okay this is the equation of this line this line you see this line this or the tangent line this tangent line the equation of this tangent line is this y1 minus y0 is equal to m into 0 minus x0 okay one equation is this and other equation will be we see in the next we shall see in the next slide so using these two points we can calculate the equation of we can write the equation of line line uh, or this tangent line using these two points x0 y0 and 0 comma y1 or we can also write the equation of this tangent line using x0 y0 and x1 comma 0 so this these two points can be used to write the equation of this tangent line or these two points can be used so first of all we use this these two points this is point 1 and this is point 2 or you can call this point A and call this point B and call this point as C so first of all we shall you use A and B to write the equation of this tangent line then we shall use A and C to write the equation of tangent line so first we use A and B so the equation of line will become y1 minus y0 is equal to m into 0 minus x0 ok then we know that the y0 is equal to 1 over x0 how because this point is lies on the graph of 1 over x this point lies lies on the graph of 1 over x this point b that does not lie on the graph but this this center point lies on the graph of 1 over x so the function will be 1 over x so the y naught will be equal to 1 over x naught ok y function because the function is the, the graph of function uh, the function is 1 over x because this is the graph of function 1 over x and point x naught y lo y naught lies in on this graph ok or on this curve so y will be equal to 1 over x and y naught will be equal to 1 over x naught so we put the value of y naught is equal to 1 over x naught ok and we simplify this and write m minus m x naught ok next we uh, rearrange this equation so y1 becomes equal to minus m x naught plus 1 over x naught ok next we write the slope so we know that slope is equal to the derivative slope of this tangent line is equal to the derivative of function 1 over x so the derivative of function is minus 1 over x square and uh, and uh, at this point the this tangent line is drawn at this point so the derivative at this point will be 1 over minus 1 over x naught square so we write in place of m we write minus 1 over x naught square then we simplify it and y1 comes to be 2 over x naught so the value of y1 is equal to 2 over x naught which is nothing but height of this triangle height of this right angle triangle this is equal to y1 next we use next we use these two points so this was point a this is point b and this is point c ok so first we used point a and b to write the equation of this tangent line now we use a and c to write the equation of this straight this tangent line so the equation will become 0 minus y naught so this is 0 
minus y naught is equal to m x1 minus x naught. So rearrange we rearrange the equation minus y naught becomes m x1 minus m x naught. Uh, then we rearrange the equation then we put the value of slope is equal to minus 1 over x naught square okay the value of m is minus 1 over x naught square next we put the value of minus uh, value of y naught is equal to 1 over x naught because this point lies on the graph of 1 over x so the value 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 of y is equal to 1 over x and y naught will be equal to 1 over x naught so we simplify it and and the value x1 comes out to be 2x naught which is nothing but the base of this triangle so the base of this triangle is 2x naught so we know that area of triangle is, is equal to half into base into height so area this area is equal to half into 2x naught base is equal to 2x naught and height is equal to 2 over x naught so we calculate the area which comes equal to 2 so the area of this triangle is 2 which is a constant let's move this line above let's move this tangent line above we move the tangent line above the point x naught y naught will move above and the base will become smaller and height will become larger but the area will be the same which is equal to 2 ok the area will come out to be same 2 the value of area will be always be 2 even if we move down this point x0 y0 tri triangle will this triangle will be created its base will increase and its height will decrease but the area will remain constant and its value will be 2 thank you all uh, these are the credits uh, and we made some changes in this video Thank you all. See you in the next video.